Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Bo Jack Horseman opening theme and in particular my favorite part of the song. Well, a lot of mainly like, the whole theme is actually like very awesome. The whole thing is awesome, but my favorite part is obviously the sax part, okay? But anyway, here we go. Give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn today, okay? So it goes this part, okay? So here's the preview, okay? Anyway, here we go, let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, all right, here we go. That's the most awesome part, I really like the ending part. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, here we go, let's go ahead and learn how to play this section, okay? The awesome saxophone section. Okay, here we go. All right, so the right hand for the first part, it goes like this, let me see. All right, starting on the D, middle C is here, go up a C, D, okay? So it goes D up to A, G, A, G, and then F, G, and then F, D, F, D, F. Like that, that's the first part for the right hand, okay? So one more time for the first part for the right hand. So it goes like this, so it goes D, two, three, four, five, A, G, A, G, F, G, F, D, F, D, F, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. The rhythm, okay, you have to kind of count it, so it goes like this, so it goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so always count in groups of eight, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight throughout the whole way. Okay, but anyway, one more time, so it goes like this, okay? So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. One, I'll, I'll tap it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, like that, okay? So get the rhythm like that, or else it doesn't really sound like it, okay? But anyway, that's the rhythm for the first part. For the right hand, very important, get it right, okay? Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are both the same chord. Both of them are both D minor chords, which is D, F, and A. Okay, so with that D minor chord in mind, okay, you have to play two of them, the turn together goes like this. So it goes D and D minor together. So it's like together, two, three, four, five, da, 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 and then the G and D minor together. Five, six, seven, eight, just like that, okay? And that is the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together, two, three, four, five, da, 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 five, six, seven, eight. I forgot to put the D minor again, but you can either hold it like what I just did, or you can play two D minor chords, okay? But in my cover, I kind of like continue that D minor throughout the whole way. So yeah, either way, it doesn't matter, okay? So one more time, I'll do it with the actual two chords playing together part, okay? So it goes together, two, three, four, five. Together, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Yeah, all right. So that's the first part. Once you get it, let's go ahead and move on to the second part. The second part goes like this, right hand goes, um, it goes this grace note from F sharp to G, so, and then it goes D, C, B, down to G, and then it goes back up to F sharp and G, the grace note, and then F, and then D, C, B, G, like that. Okay, it's kind of like a triplet at the end, okay, but anyway, one more time, it goes like this, so it goes F sharp, G, grace note, down to D, C, B, G, back up to F sharp and G, grace note, F and then D, C, B, G, like that. So the D, C, B is kind of like a trip, it's a da, 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 like that. Okay, but anyway, yeah, so with that in mind, so the rhythm is quite hard to count as well here, so remember, uh, okay, follow it like this. So it goes one, two, three, four, three, whoops, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So the triple bar is where's the five and six is kind of like in between the beats, okay? So it's kind of hard to count here, but you, you can try and feel the beat out, okay? One more time. I couldn't even like count and play at the same time. Here we go. Uh, say it out the letters wrong, okay? But anyway, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, okay? So that triplet was between the five and six, okay? But anyway, when I'm not counting, it will seem more unnatural. Check it out, it's like this. I'll tap it just instead, so. So one. Can you hear the D, C, B? You can see, clearly hear that triplet there. Okay, but anyway, got to practice this part as well. The rhythm is quite important. It's nice here if you can get it right as well. So that's the right hand for the second part. Okay, so the second part for the left hand, once again, the chords are pretty simple because both of the chords here are both G major chords, all right? So G major is G, B, D, the two of them, all right? So G major, uh, in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So let's play it a bit lower here so you can see. All right, so it goes chord first on the first beat. So it goes here, right comes in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once again, chord by itself. Like that, okay. One more time, it goes like this. So it goes here. Awesome. Alright, so yeah, that is the second part. Make sure you get the rhythm right and stuff uh, and just count it, okay? But anyway, here we go. Uh, what we learned so far, the two parts would now be played back to back like this. Check it out. So it goes like this. Like that. Sounds awesome already, alright? But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the third part which is one of my favorite parts, uh, and the fourth part as well. The third part goes like this, all right, hand. Uh, it goes down to this uh, G, so it goes G, C, E flat up to the higher G. And then it goes, let me see, um, it's like triplet of G flat, F, E flat for four times. So it goes da, 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 two, three, four, like that. Okay, so that's the third part. One more time, so it goes like this. This part's awesome, okay. Keep saying that, but anyway, yeah, so it goes, okay, so middle C is right here, so we start on the, actually the lower G, but just below middle C, okay, so it goes G, C, E flat up to G, and then triplets, G flat, F, E flat, second time, third, and fourth, like that, okay, yeah, and that's the third part, all right, so with that in mind, uh, the rhythm is more like this, so it goes uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, like, okay, I can't even say one, two, and then it's like all those are the triplets, so they have two beats each. Like that, okay? So that's how you count it, okay? So one, two, seven, eight, like that. So the rhythm in this song is actually pretty like hard for like beginners, I guess, because there's a lot of already like um, the triplets counting with two beats and stuff. So yeah, got to have to do like. Practice it for yourself and feel the rhythm if you can't really like do it 100%. But anyway, that's the right hand for the third part. Left hand, we have two C minor chords here. So C, E flat, G. All right, with that C minor in mind twice, two hands together goes like this, okay? Play this chord like one octave below so you can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to clash it here. So yeah, I'll play it one octave below. So it goes like this, it goes, chord comes in. One, two, and then three comes in. Dun, 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 five, six, Seven, eight, and on the first note of the triplet, G flat and C minor together. Two. Like that. Pretty awesome. One more time, it goes like this. One, two, three, da, 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 da. Like that. Alright. Okay. And then, moving on. Uh, actually, before we move on, let's play it back to back of the three parts we've learned so far. So it goes. Fourth and last part, the awesome part goes like this. Right hand continues on to goes another G flat, F, E flat, and goes above octave above the E flat. And it's like this um, arpeggio on C minor, first inversion going downwards. It goes C, G, E flat, C, G, E flat, C, G, like that. So pretty awesome. Okay, so yeah, one more time. So it goes the uh, G flat, F, E flat, and then up to the high E flat, and then the fingering goes to the second finger on C, and then the first finger on G, fourth finger on E flat turn, 
second finger on C, turn to C or G on the first finger, turn fourth finger onto E flat, and C on second finger, first finger on G. Yeah, but it's fast at the end. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty simple here because what you do, you play the C minor chord together, and then, and then after that you just let go, and then you get the right hand is like a solo part. You have to play it really fast, so that's the hard thing about it. You need to train your agility for this last bit. So, like that. So, and you hold the pedal as well. Same effect as the original. Pretty awesome, but have fun with it, I guess. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so. Yeah, the last bit is like kind of like a solo part, a show off part, but it's like really close to the original. That's exactly what it does as well. So, the E flat is like a uh, descending kind of like arpeggio on that C minor first inversion. So without the pedal it doesn't sound that good, with the pedal it sounds better. It gives that kind of same feel. But anyway, enjoy your time checking out my full cover for the song. I loved, like, I really enjoyed playing this song. And yes, this song's just super catchy, but hope you enjoy learning this lesson as well. As for now, I guess, yeah, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.